G'day guys, Galbo from Tech Angler. Just thought I'd make a short video, just doing a short walkthrough of my uh, my boat, my Quintrex 440 Hornet Trophy with a 60 horsepower Suzuki four stroke engine. Had this boat for the last three years and uh, recently I've switched over uh, for AGM batteries to lithium batteries, uh, which has uh, saved a lot of weight in my boat and increased the performance of this boat. Um, had this boat for three years, it's been a fantastic boat. Um, I generally fish by myself um, and I fish some uh, tight water so this has been a great boat to uh, cover all my bases of where I fish. It's not the fastest boat around but it's uh, set up for the way I fish and uh, yeah it's been a good boat. Anyway we'll still walk through it and uh, hopefully get some ideas. We'll start from the back of the boat. I'm uh, running a 60 horsepower Tillisty Suzuki four stroke engine. It's been a workhorse hasn't let me down had no issues with it at all and uh, yeah uh, it's been a great a great engine um, one thing I did do, do differently to it uh, I added a hydrofoil a Starfire Stingray hydrofoil um, this makes it get up on the plane a lot quicker than it did uh, I'm running a 3-in-1 a Lawrence 3-in-1 uh, active imaging transducer on the outside of it, uh, you can see I've got it. Still got a H HST WSBL sonar, uh, 283 kilohertz. Um, previously to adding a 3-1, I was running a 3D structure scan. Uh, I've since replaced that uh, and replaced it with a 3-1 active imaging transducer. Uh, and this is a fantastic transducer. Reads at full speed, 53 kilometers an hour, and uh, it's fantastic in uh, shallow water as well as deeper water. Um, as I previously ran the HST WSBL, I've kept it on there. Um, I've got the cord coiled up in the back of my boat, just in case I um, break break a transducer on my way. At least I can just plug it in. I've got it back up. As most know that I, um, I run Lawrence sounders, um, fantastic sounders. I've ran Lawrence for 18 years and been lucky enough to been uh, great get great support for the last four or five years off them. So. It um, gives me an opportunity to uh, run some pretty good gear in the boat. So I'm, at the present time, I'm running two HDS Live uh, 16 sounders in my boat. Um, and they're a great bit of gear. Uh, I'm running a Sonic Hub 2 in this boat. Um, and you've got two 6-inch Lorentz speakers. It's fantastic. Hooks up, control it through my uh, sounders. Um, it's good to have some tunes. On those uh, long, hot summer days where the fishing's a bit, it's a bit slow. I run Railblaze as accessories. Uh, I've done this for numerous years. Run them on my Hobie. There's also run them in uh, my boat. It's a great bit of gear. I recommend anyone. Uh, I can quickly change accessories. Uh, yeah, it's very, very handy. I've got star ports surrounded all throughout my boat. And uh, yeah, it allows me to move my accessories and uh, relocate them around the boat. As you can see, I run my, I run my GoPro. I mean, rail, rail blaze apart. I run my GoPro, so I, was, um, I run it on the pole, on the starport. We all know GoPros have got pretty ordinary battery life. So what I do, I run a uh, battery pack. Um, that bit of uh, Velcro, heavy duty Velcro. Allows me to run my GoPro all day. I elected not to put a rod locker in my uh, boat. Um, so uh, Trevor at Benningham Marine whipped up this rod holding device for me. It's been uh, absolutely fantastic. Allows me to store four, four rods. As you can see, I'm running my um, my big large swim bait rods, Venom swim bait rods, and they have no problems at all. They're safe. They're not going to get broken there. Do a lot of travelling, um, and yeah, never had any issues with it at all. Quick and easy to get your rods in and out of uh, the storage, and yeah, it doesn't take up much room. Side pocket, very handy. The side pocket. Um, all I've done here is I've just uh, put a bit of aluminium in the right angle, drilled a few holes in it, and that's where I um, hang my lures to dry. 
Um, often, often I only use lures from this rack um, when I'm fishing for the day. Put a couple of baskets in there, store my goodies. Quick and easy when it's been wet, I'll just take the baskets out, let everything dry. As you can see at the back, a little rail, rail by a stubby, stubby hold up. Let's put bits and pieces in there. Got two seats in here. Um, as I fish by myself a lot, I generally remove the second seat and I uh, put an esky or a fridge up the back. I've added a couple of tie down points just uh, so I can secure my eskies to it. Uh, yeah, it also acts as a second seat if I catch up with someone in the water who wants to come out for a fish. Yeah, back storage pocket of this boat. Um, plenty of room. I store a few life jackets, store a spotlight here just when I'm fishing at night to come back. Um, also, this is my lithium battery, 110 amp, 12 volt lithium battery. I'm running my sounders off this now, so I can run my two 16 sounders. Uh, I can run them all day for several days now without having to worry about uh, putting pressure on my crank battery. It's been a great battery. Moving close to the middle. I'm still um, running a lead battery as my crank battery. Uh, my research I did, I'm still a bit iffy about running lithium as a crank, but uh, yeah, so I'm still running a a smaller size uh, AGM battery to, as a crank battery. Yeah, in the back area, I still run a CTEC charger and also a lithium charger to charge my lithium battery. CTEC charger charges my crank battery. Okay, we'll move up to the front of the boat, the business end of the boat. As you can see, I've got a lean seat. It's handy when I'm fishing long days. So we move in, open the, the main storage area. As you can see, plenty of storage area. I've got plenty of lures stored in here. More storage. See the back rear of my speaker. You can see in the section here, that's my Sony Cup 2. Out of the way. Left hand side storage bin. Heaps of rewards, keep some hats and stubby holders. Some spare clothing, you can see. That's where the rod tips come out. Safe, out of the way. Um, I do lots of traveling and never had a, a rod break. My motor guide XI5, absolute awesome piece of equipment. So 24 volt, 80 pounds, and uh, yeah, it's fantastic for this boat. The middle section of the casting deck is also some more storage designed for storing your batteries. Um, since switching over to lithium, I've got uh, I can actually use it for storage now because uh, I haven't got two big batteries in there. Uh, previously, I had a 120 amp uh, AGM on either side uh, for my 20 volt volt motor guide. They weighed about 72 kilos. I've now replaced them with one single battery. 70 amp 24 volt lithium battery coming in about 12 and a half kilos so significant weight savings there um, also i've got all this extra room right hand side i've got my lithium charger also my fire extinguisher all that room is now free where previously there was a big uh, 36 kilo battery there At the very front of the boat, there's another big large storage area. This is where you'd keep your anchor normally, but as I fish fresh water, I um, don't require an anchor. I'm 
some store bits and pieces in here, torches, bucket, paddle, some rope, toilet paper. This is my, uh, my storage area, just the stuff I want out of sight. But it also is quick and easy to grab if I need. Wireless foot pedal. Highly recommend. Let's me, um, I never used to use it, and I uh, dropped a large fish at the boat when I had to uh, use my remote. So since then, I've uh, used my foot pedal. HCS Live 16 at the front of the boat, on it, mounted on a heavy duty ram mount. Okay, so what's a bit different with this boat? I've this red pole. Uh, at the front of my boat, I've got another heavy duty ram mount. I also run a um, live sight transducer, which is on the left hand side of the screen, and a 3 in 1 active imaging transducer at the front of the boat. Now, the red pole, Rod Payne Engineering up in Queensland makes these poles. Uh, allows me to run my uh, cords through the poles in the front of my boat and then into the rear of my sounder. Neat, tidy and very, very effective. As you can see, the Lorance 3-in-1 active imaging transducer at the front of the boat allows me to see what is at the front of the boat rather than uh, at the rear transducer. I can run down scan, side scan, and my sonar all at the front. A live sight transducer mounted on a ram mount at the front of my boat. Rod Payne Engineering up in Queensland. I uh, found him on Facebook, so uh, yeah, it's been a great bit of gear. Um, I tried several ways of mounting my, my active imaging and my live sight to my boat and uh, uh, the pole is definitely the way to go. Okay, I've, um, I've got my uh, transducer pole set up as if I was uh, fishing at the moment. You can see it on the ram mount. You got a bolt to adjust. Go down lower. As you can see, I've got the three in one active imaging transducer, giving me sonar, down scan, and side scan at the front of the boat, rather than relying on my transducer at the back of the boat. Also got the live sight transducer. Currently shooting the down mode. Um, I can adjust it and have it quickly lift up the transducer and have it in a pointing forward mode if I wish to do so. There's also a handle, um, so oh, a pointer, so you can see which which what direction the live site is pointing at, which also makes it more user friendly. You can see the cords, the leads um, for the transducer are running through the tubing, and then into the front section of my boat, also leading into the back of the sounder. Neat and tidy. Rather than wrapping around the electric engine or the pole. Okay, just showing you how quick and easy it is to adjust. Normally I do this inside the boat, but for this demo outside the boat, just undo the bolt. You can see me twisting and pointing the transducers in the direction I want. You can see the, the handle, the pointer, pole. You can see which direction the trench is important, making it very easy. Turning it around, just rotating it, pointing in the direction I want. Fantastic in windy conditions. Rather than having it mounted like I previously did on the on the electric engine, when I'm on spotlight, getting blown around, readjusting my position, I can just manually do it myself. Anyway, uh, that's my boat. Uh, yeah, no, it's been a good boat for me and uh, 
yeah, I've been lucky enough to catch some good fish in it. So, uh, yeah, hopefully that's helped. Uh, as you can see, the lithium batteries uh, increased my storage, also increased the performance of my boat. And, uh, yeah, no, there's been a great investment.